alongside my partner, Bill Horenda. I am Todd Harris. This is a tournament that has nine teams, but only eight get to play, and you want to make sure you get a good seating as you head into the tournament. No question about it, Todd. And of course, for Cal Poly, pick to finish fifth. They're second in the conference. They've won six right. of their last eight. Tough loss at Long Beach State on Thursday night. They need to bounce back. Conversely, for Fulton, they've got quality wins over Pacific. Uh, Long Beach State right. as well as Santa Barbara but like Vicki Sue Robinson their goal right now turn the beat around they've lost four straight it's all about seedings at this juncture good talent on display tonight as we take a look at our star watch players for this contest so there's a look at Sean Lewis he's been in double figures 23 of 27 nights only nine on Thursday night he'll have to turn it around Jervon Johnson the lone returning starter on senior night second in the Big West Conference field goal percentage at 56 percent yeah. yeah, he's been spectacular. Hanson stepping up his game after the devastating loss on Thursday night. We talked about versatility of Big West players. Here he is from downtown from three. Off the glass, opportunistic on the putback. I like those threes, I'll take another. And then here he is on the block, operating, going for three the old fashioned way. David Hanson out of Plymouth, Minnesota, Maranatha Christian High School. David Hanson just sizzling. Two weeks, two games to improve. Hanson taking it to heart. And the answer back coming from number 15, Oren Chin. And of course, that's what Fullerton needs. Ironically, Cal Poly number one in the country. Three-point field goal percentage against 27%. What was in the first half? Three of 11 for the Titans. Right on the 27% right. number. They need more of that, Todd. So what did... Cal State Fullerton get away from in the latter part of that first half that allowed Cal Poly to surge ahead like that. Yeah, I think it was uh, Cal Poly's adjustments. Oh, to my. The on the defensive end. David Hansen is just going jimmer on the folks here at Titan Gym. So, you know, Todd, you're in a si situation right now where Hansen is absolutely on fire and incendiary right now. Donahue with a big rebound, and back come the Mustangs. Hanson's not hitting, Dylan Royer is. 12 points on the night for the seldom used Dylan Royer. Coach may want to rethink about getting Dylan Royer some more touches as we get close to tournament time. And Joe Calero, Todd, of course, he had searched Royer in the starting lineup in the second half. Good move by Coach Calero. So here we go, Todd. Right on cue, Lewis to Hanson. Nothing but twine. Lewis operating. Hanson once again, it's almost like a replay of a replay, and here's Roy off the dribble. Sam Lewis, Obispo County Player of the Year, senior in high school, incredible stepping up big here tonight. A 9-0 run, and Hanson, 22 points on the night. His career high is 29 earlier this year against Cal State Bakersfield. He is certainly on track, and I've got to think that head coach Bob Burton and the Titans are saying, guys, we've got to extend our defense. Yeah, no question. After a 2 of 12 start from three, Cal Poly has made seven of their last nine. Oh, boy. Jervon Johnson with a beautiful hop step over the glass and just too hard. The ball will stay with the Titans. Look at this move once again. Check this out, Bill. <laughs> Let's see. He puts it to the deck. Splits two, does everything but finish time. Excellent athleticism, Jervon Johnson. Once again, Jervon Johnson having no problem getting to the glass. Remember, folks, he's 6'6", 240 pounds, and he moves around like a svelte Charles Barkley. <laughs> svelte and sinewy Charles Barkley, Todd Harris, you're absolutely right. And he's all of it. Now you see the defense now being extended by the orange jerseys of the Titans. Let's see, now it's how we see and that's it, man to man. Sean Lewis, their leading scorer out of Oakland, California, the only senior on this program. And there couldn't be worse news for the Titans if Lewis gets going, coupled with, with uh, Dylan Royer shooting and David Hansen's night. It's going to be a long night for the Titans. Royer with a steal. Dishes it over to Malik Love, and it's intercepted. Back comes Chin, and it's going to be an intentional foul. They're going to get Hanson for the two and the possession. So Hanson is closing here, transition defense, and he wants to prevent the hoop. He got in front of him, though. Yeah, I, I don't think that's a, 
an intentional foul. The officials have a tough job, but I disagree. He's a player who's playing hard, getting back in transition. Of course, Cal Poly does not want the Titans to get out and get back in this one. Orange chin, so he goes to the line, a 75% free throw shooter. And uh, David Hansen, I think, was as surprised as many of us to think that that was the intentional. So it's two shots plus the ball for the Titans. Chin misses a second. Let's look at this again. Does this pass the litmus test of an intentional? He does have his arm on the 15 on the back slightly. But for my money, if you want to go play hopscotch, go down the block. This is the Big West. We're playing for seeding. This is intense basketball. But again, the officials got to you know, give them a break. It's a tough, tough to get it the first time. Hardy goes to the lane hard. Can't get it to fall. Donahue saves it under his own basket. And that's cardinal sin. You know you don't want to save it right under their basket. But it does go over to the Mustangs. Ten point lead for Cal Poly as we go under 17 minutes to play in the ball game. Long Beach State has already wrapped up the regular season title. These teams playing for seeding. Right now, Cal Poly is sitting in second place in conference. They'd like to keep it that way. But remember, they still have a very tough game with UC Santa Barbara. That's a Thunderdome, a tremendous rivalry on the central coast of California in the Big West Conference, of course. John Lewis drives and the harm. So their leading scorer, who went into the half with just three points, comes out with a quick four. So Lewis so tough to handle one-on-one. -on -one. Todd and Johnson tries to handle him, but tremendous athleticism. Sean has really adjusted. The lone senior accepted his role. He's getting more touches on the block, posting up more. His dexterity has been key for the Mustangs' offense, where they have struggled. They got it going tonight with Hanson, of course, and Lewis starting to pick it up.